Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and happy Black History Month. Tonight we are at the 28th annual Pan-African Film Festival celebrating the film Hero by director Francis Ann Solomon. And I am so excited because the energy here is nothing but Black excellence. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's always good to be in a space where we are pushing the culture forward. Make sure you stay tuned to Rich Girl Network TV. You know, how important is it for us to be here tonight celebrating your film Hero? It's fantastic. It's really an important story. And I'm very grateful to the Pan-African Film Festival for understanding its significance and understanding that it's important for every black person in the Africa, every person of African heritage, to understand where we come from in order to know where we're going. You know, so that's, it's really fantastic. I love that. Now, let me ask you, what was the inspiration for you to decide to take on this project as director? Well, it was my mom. Alric Cross was a friend of my family, and my mother is the person who, who really wanted to get a film made about him. So, you know, you hate it when your parents are like, can you do this for me? You know, it's like, mom. But when I began to research, when I began to research the, the story, I, I discovered that after the Second World War, Alric had been recruited to go to Ghana as a lawyer. And really, it began to tell the story of all the people in the diaspora who had come together on independence in the late 50s, early 60s, to really liberate Africa from colonialism. And that became a story that I really needed to tell. It's a fantastic story, you know. I love that. It sounds so rich. Now, what do you feel like you learned about yourself and your culture uh, as the director of this film? What did you feel like you took away? I always say that there was a key moment when we were actually filming a dramatic scene um, in, the, in the slave castles, you know? And like everybody else, when you, when you travel back to Africa and you make that link that, that all of us are, um, are descended from people who went through that little hole and survived the journey and uh, survive slavery, you know, that each and every one of us is a blood relative of that moment, you know, that terrible crime against humanity. Um, it becomes very important to redeem that, you know, to liberate the spirits of our ancestors, so to speak. You know, it's really, an, 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 it's very, very important. And it sounds so powerful. I love that so much. Thank you. Congratulations, Francis. We're you to see it. <laughs> this would be so good. Um, where can we keep up with the film and you on social media? So Hero Film, um, HeroAlricCross.com is the website. And uh, yeah, we have social media. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations and have a great rest of your night. So let me ask you, how does it feel to be at the 28th Annual Pan-African Film Festival where Hero, which you've executive produced, is on display tonight? How does it feel? So surreal, you know? We've been doing this. We've been working on this for so many years. And this is the dream, really, you know, to bring it here at the Pan-African uh, Film and Arts Festival. And the film is about about the beginnings of Pan-Africanism in Africa. So what better place to be right now at the at PAF, yeah. How important is it to have a space where other cultures are on display, such as Trinidad and Tobago? I think it's important because, you know, uh, we're all part of the diaspora and we're all connected and sometimes we only get to see it one way from North America back to the Caribbean. So I think it's important that we can showcase from the Caribbean to the rest of the world. I love that so much. Okay, and one word to sum up the energy here tonight. Awesome! <laughs> that sounds good to me. Thank you so much, Lisa. You look amazing and I hope you have a great night. Congratulations. How important is it to have a film celebrating your home on display here at the Pan-African Film Festival? You don't know how I feel. My heart is jumping out of my chest right now. That's to tell you how, how much I feel and good about it. And I also have our Caribbean band, Trinidad and Tobago, representing Success Steel, representing Trinidad and Tobago here. Yeah, so we, we're all, all aboard. Yes. That sounds good to me. Now, how important is it to have events where we celebrate uh, black art, black film? It, it is important to everybody to know each other's culture because the Caribbean and Trinidad and Tobago is, is a diverse cosmopolitan big country. I call the Caribbean islands a country because we are all one. But in any case, what I like about it is we are able to share each other's ideas, we are able to at least diversify and be celebrate with each other here in California. Well, it's important to come here in California even and to go all over to at least um, share our wealth. We are a country that even with the steel band and the carnival and the calypso and everything else, we are much more than that. So we're a gene, as precious genes by our own self.